Hey what is up everyone this is Mars and welcome to another video in this video I'm gonna show you how I make this awesome RC earboard you can make it in very cheap price the component in this RC board used are very simple I will provide a list of all the components in the description you can see all the parts and buy it and start building your own RC earboard first of all as we know that RC airboard or any kind of airboard needs a body. So I have used the styrofoam body as you can see. I have attached a folding piece of acrylic so the water may not enter in my board because water can damage your electronics. I know its body is very rough because I am using this airboard from a weeks. So that's why it's not clean. So here I have used epoxy glue to glue the Two pieces of the styrofoam and please do not use the epoxy glue only I know that I have to do very hard work to make this kind of aerodynamic shape of this board but you can also use a glue gun or any kind of wooden gun or you can buy a thick piece of styrofoam you don't have to join these two piece of styrofoam just buy a thick piece of styrofoam now you have to buy or find the wooden piece so you can attach your motor with the pla this plastic holder you need this plastic holder or you can also use a metal holder as you can see i have attached my motor with this plastic holder and the plastic holder is attached to the wooden piece here i am using 22 12000 kv brushless motor it's very fine and good motor for this kind of applications and as you can see i am using the 10 inch propeller with 30 ampere esc and here's the main thing our 3s lipo battery with the t connector it's a very strong and powerful battery with a 35c rating this battery will give you 25 minutes of timing then i have used acrylic pieces to make it sturdier as you can see i have used the hinges to join two acrylic pieces so they move smoothly with the servo motors now here's the receiver part i have used nlf module arduino pro mini and here the ams 3.3 voltage regulator which supplies the voltage to the NRF as you know NRF needs 3.3 volt here's our channels and here's our servo which control the rudder or you can say the steering of this RC airboard now let's jump onto the transmitter I made this transmitter by myself by using Arduino Uno and some joysticks you can extract the joystick from old RC helicopter transmitter or a drone transmitter to power it up I am using the power bank I know it's messy but in my case it works now let me show you the main thing it's testing time but I am testing it indoor but later we will test it outdoor As you have seen, it is very powerful and its servo mechanism also working good. Let me show you. Here are the few clips of this RC airboard that I am driving outside in my river.